Here is the back side of my house where I have my observation platform and I have brought out my biggest telescope, the 10 incher. I have used it for a couple of nights. I'm doing a project now with the M81 and M82. I have already photographed M82 and I now will proceed with M81. I'm right now doing the focusing. I use a Batinov mask. You can see that. Which is a really good help when you do focusing. And you can see on the computer screen you have the classic Batinov pattern when we are in perfect focus. As a camera I'm using the ASI-8183. It's the uncooled version. And uh, if you can see my breath here in front of the camera, it's uh, about minus 10 outside now, so I don't think it's really needed any artificial cooling. I call it that I use, use natural cooling. So we'll move the telescope towards M81, somewhere up there in between the trees. And hope for the best. Here we can see M81 on the screen. It's just one second uh, exposures at maximum uh, gain. I will use that to center M81. So now I have centered the galaxy. I don't have enough uh, field of view to get both galaxies in at the same time. I will now reset the, the gain to 300, which is a really high value, since I use only short exposures of uh, 25 seconds, like this. And um, the reason I use so short exposures is I have no auto guider. So I need to make do with uh, what I can get out of the mount without any guiding. Now we'll check that we have uh, set the correct uh, file format. I use uh, PNG files. And now the image became very bright since I have a histogram setting which is for one second. I'll reset that like that and uh, I think we're good to go. I'm a bit afraid that we'll blow out the center of the galaxy here so some shorter exposures will probably be needed also. We'll set the start to capture Is that 500? Doesn't really matter. I will stop long before reaching 500 since I will go out and do a dither about every half an hour. And I will also use my hair blower to remove any fog or ice from the corrector lens. Since the telescope is a Schmidt Newton, it has a corrector which can frost. Here is uh, an image of 25 seconds with the histogram adjustments. You can see the histogram at the lower right there. It's about 1.5 to 1.6 from the bottom, which is quite good. The, the mountain, this peak, which makes it, um, which uh, ensures that we have a correct exposure and have taken the uh, the light pollution as far as we want 
there is also uh, quite uh, a lot of uh, data already here in a 25 second exposure you see the spiral arms of the galaxy we can zoom in a little on the histogram it could perhaps be uh, the, the, the the light pollution mountain could perhaps be a little higher also but I think it's good enough I live in a suburb suburban environment and have quite a lot light pollution and I use no filters this is interesting also since it's the first time I use this telescope with the mono camera without any filter I wasn't sure that I could do that because it has a Schmidt corrector lens which could mean I needed a filter for a infrared reaction filter but the stars seems to be okay so I think we can stay with this